Good morning, everyone. I usually make these videos for the students, and actually this one is dedicated to my awesome families this year. And I am so honored and fortunate to have such a supportive group of parents this year under this remote learning model. And I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for making something that seems impossible, not only possible, but successful. And because of you and because of our teamwork is the only reason that this could even exist at this point, the way that it's going. And in my classroom, one of my favorite life skills posters is this wheel of success. It's about the teamwork that everyone has. If it functions well and we work together, we have a wheel of success that rolls towards that direction of success. But if there's a piece missing, it no longer becomes a wheel and it no longer rolls. And because of that, it has to be carried by someone. And with this, the remote learning model, a lot of emphasis now has been put on the home. And I want, this is one of the reasons why I wanna thank you is that you have had as parents much more responsibility than in the past for your child's education, for your child's schooling. And you have stepped up and taken so much responsibility and been so supportive. I know that I've had to put more responsibility on you by with the notifications and all of the reports. And I'm some of times I it, it's difficult for me because that's something that I haven't had to do in the past as much. And thank you so much for just being compassionate, understanding that we're all on the same team and we're all headed in the same direction. And that's really what's coming down to what our mission is as not only educators, but as parents and as for training future citizens is this whole concept of that there's two sides to life. And what I love about teaching fourth grade is this is the age where children in fourth grade are starting to understand that the world has two sides to it, not only as a student, but as a human, that there's a work side, there's a service side to it that's going to require you to take responsibility for being a citizen, which has responsibilities. And then there's a play side. Now, what I want to get across to everyone is that you can enjoy the work. You can enjoy the work. Work can be enjoyed. And when you get good at it, when you build the discipline and you build the confidence and the um, self-satisfaction of getting your work done, work can be enjoyable. In fact, there's some people that work more than they play because they like it. But I don't expect that from children at all. Then there's the play side of it. Now, as children, play is usually not a problem. But what happens is when they focus on the play without the work, not only does it get them behind in school, it also creates a idea of how the world works, that the work's gonna be done by somebody else or the work doesn't have to be done. And we know as adults and as educators, that's not the truth. The work is not something that could ever be escaped from. It's something that's avoid, it's avoided, but what happens is it's always waiting there to be done or for somebody else to do it. And I want my students to know it's their job to do it. They should take pride in it. And that makes the play even sweeter. And as a teacher, I am choosing not to assign an enormous amount of independent work during remote learning. Now, I've heard that teachers assign a lot of work and that's their prerogative. They have the choice of doing that and I'm sure they have a reason for it. Let me give you my reason why I'm not assigning. In fact, I feel like I'm assigning the minimum amount of expected independent work with options for more, of course. And that comes down to our meetings are really intense. During our meetings, we are dealing with the academics that I'd normally have a whole day to do that I'm condensed down to a very short period of time. So our listening during the meetings have been spectacular. Our improvement, my check-in system has really worked and the students have stepped up because expectations are very important. What you expect is usually what you're going to get. And now that I've expected active listening and I found a way to actually get information on it, it's really improved. Now, here's the part of it that I would ask for your help. And it's it, with the independent work. Now, most of the students are getting their independent work done. Now, the school day would normally go from till three o'clock or 2.45. Well, we pretty much end school at noon. 
And the rest of the day, I give till eight o'clock at night for them to get their expected work in. And I do that because I want to give the families flexibility. I want to give students time away from the screen because staring at a screen, I know it zaps every ounce of energy that I have, but also gives the flexibility. But if a student is playing video games when they get out, during school time, that is not the purpose of why I'm giving less work and giving till eight o'clock at night to do it. I would ask families, if your child is available, that they come to the 1245 work group. Okay, you see on the assignment log here, every day I have a 1245 to 145 link. If they come to it, they will get almost all of their work done right away and the rest of the day will be theirs. Okay, now that does give them an, a 45 minute break in between. And I had about 10 people show up to this group yesterday. And what we do is I give them math practice that counts for their IXL and they get an instruction as well. And then I make sure that they're time for their reflex. And then I give them time to work on Lexia and they get all of those obligations done. And that is really a good path to take. Now, let's say they can't do that. I would hope that their work is being supervised and completed before five o'clock at night. Cause after that, it gets really difficult. So it's about time management. Now, the assignments that I give take about an hour a day, maybe a little bit more, but not much more. But on their assignment logs, there's always more choices that they can do for extra work. So I just wanted to offer that um, opportunity for the, for the work group, but I asked the parents, and the reason I'm talking about this is because the district subscribes to something called HAPARA, okay? This is one of these remote learning um, necessities about being, to see, being able to see what students are doing. And we only are able to see student screens during um, school hours. So uh, during the weekends, after school, our system shuts off. I can't see anything. But our school does subscribe to HAPARA, and it gives us the ability during school hours to see what's on a student's screen. And yesterday, I did see students playing video games during school hours, and that is not the purpose of our deal that we make. They should be doing their expected work to their personal best ability. Now, another thing students have been doing, parents, I just want to give you a heads up on it, is they've been trying to take advantage of the system with the time. Okay, I got to do 10 minutes. So they'll go to IXL. They'll let the clock run, then they'll go over to a video game, play that, then they'll come back and they'll do another problem. They'll do it wrong, but the time will run up. So that time is actually a false representation of what they're doing. And if that's happening, I will now notify you. And students, I want you to know this too. I'm making this for your awesome parents, but I want you to be aware that that will happen. So well, I'm gonna end this with once again saying, what a great team we've been. I just wanna let you know personally, this has been the hardest year of my life. I've been teaching 19 years. I consider myself a really good teacher, but I wanna compare it to riding a horse. I've ridden a horse for the last 18 years. This year, I had to learn how to ride a giraffe. And I know as parents, it's the same thing. You've been awesome parents. I know you are, you've proven it to me. I, the evidence is there. But I know this year is especially difficult. And the students and your children are looking to us. What do we do when it gets difficult? And I think it's our job to step up and say, when things get difficult, we stand up to it. Because that's the way that we are going to get to a better world where there's more function, there's more responsibility, and we could all be a little kinder to each other and ourselves. Thank you so much for being amazing.